date is July 17th, 2017. Probably from a little bumpy road here, but I got a call for uh, a guy's got a couple of air conditioning and one of them's not working. He said the compressor's not running, the outside unit. So I'm going here to check it out. Try to get you some shots if I can when I get there. Nice out today. Um, I've been around 80, 80, 85, something like that. Got the windows and the door open here. So we'll try to get you some shots when we get there. Get something interesting. On the platform here, this Goodman, this fan's not working. Uh, just the, the compressor will start, but not the not the fan. So it's probably a bad capacitor. The compressor did start before. It's just that the fan's not spinning. Uh, he's going to shut the power off for us, so we're going to check it and. Uh, Look at this, no disconnects. Up here on a flipping platform from hell here. So let me see what I can do with this thing. It's going to shut off the power. And uh, I'm thinking it's a bad capacitor there. Or a bad fan, because the compressor did kick over a couple of times. Power off? Yeah, AC second floor. I'll, I'll check it. I'll double check it. But. Yeah, please. I don't want you zapped. <laughs> so you didn't run it like this. You shut it off right away, right? Huh? You didn't run it for long like this, did you? No. Okay. But we'll see. Now, where are you from? You got a southern accent. Yeah, Tennessee. Oh, okay. I'm just down, just down the mountain. All right, it's off. It's off? Yeah. All right. The old Tennessee. Yeah, I'll be down. Tennessee tuxedo. Oh, I gotta shut that fan off. Check the microfarads on it. I'm hoping it's a I'm hoping it's just a capacitor that's bad. Zero microfarad, so that's the problem. It's not no juice. All right, so I gotta get another capacitor for it. It's got a hot start on it. That's starting the compressor. All right, what size is that, Mama? What size is that, baby? Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Hey, how about how? Yeah, air conditioning. Uh, problem. Yeah, problem. That's a good size compa good capacitor there. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? That's a big one, yeah. Yeah. I should have one in the truck, hopefully. Okay. How'd it check out? No good. No good? Nope. The fan, the, at least the fan, the fan pot, so it's uh 50 dash 5 yeah I should have one of them in the truck 50 dash right. 5 and we'll uh okay. we'll switch it out and we'll try it again that sounds like a plan that's what we're gonna do we'll see if I got one in the truck <laughs> yeah I know Bobby Ledger oh. yeah he changed jobs in January did he? Yeah. He's a lot happier now. What do you mean he changed? What do you mean he changed jobs? Well, he's working somewhere. So I, uh, I guess the project ended and I didn't do it. He got another job and he's real happy there. He stays busy and. Oh, okay. Better culture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it got pretty nasty when people are competing for projects and stuff. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're kind of doing one wire at a time here. Yeah. The fan. Yeah, I know Bob Ledger. Yeah. Yeah, he's a union guy. He used to go to... I was in the union. Yeah? Alright, yeah. so we got this... Uh, you tell me he was in the union. There's the two compressor here. This one here is the compressor. And it's one for the hard start. There's the other one here. Be careful. This thing's still... still charged, so we don't want to get zapped. get zapped. Now, what do you do for a living? I'm retired. What did you do? Oh, I was a geologist. A what? Geologist. Geologist? Yeah. That sounds important. A lot of hard work. <laughs> what do you I go around? Go. You go around digging in the dirt there? Yeah, I got to go, go to dangerous places. Really? Oh, gosh, yeah. Alright, we'll put this hot stop back on now and see if it's... I've been in some situations that... But this isn't even any good. You think you're crazy doing it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you've been in bad... Yeah. I'm 68, though. I'm not... Yeah, you'll be time to retire, huh? I'm, I'm done. It's time to do other things now. All right, 133 on a hot start, so that's good. Okay. Uh, that's why the compressor's starting. Yeah, you get, an, you get enough of a, a... Yeah, it gives you a boost. The, gives you a boost. Turn the, push the it helps you, you know? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I get it. Interesting. So, geologists, what are you, dig, digging in the dirt all day or what? Oh, well, making mats, digging in the, you know, going out in the field, uh, looking at... Looking at rocks, making mats, drilling, do drilling. Well, let's see if the compressor ones. Yeah, the compressor's dead too. Yeah. So they're both they're both dead. The compressor? Well, yeah. they were stunned because you had a hot stock kit on there. Yeah. They're they're both they're both um this capacitor's dead. They're both none of them. Okay. So it was stunned because you had the hot stock kit on there. Okay. Yeah, it was. All right, go turn the power on and we'll we'll give it a. For second floor. Or the, the one open, the one you have open. Yeah, the one we're having a problem with. Yeah. I want to see if it kicks in. It should. We're going to see if it kicks in now. It should. It should kick in. This thing, this thing's dead. Give that the old Gundy, mama. We'll give this thing a, we'll give this thing a kick start and see if it starts. I'm going to go turn the power on. It should start. It should start up now. Flipping wires a disaster up here. I mean, it's an eight foot ladder up here. We're right on the water here, so it's pretty nice. It's a good one. I'm gonna run it and check the charge and put a guy in. No disconnects, just got this wire. Alright, it's on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's working. Fan moving? Everything. Oh, yeah. She's right. working. I'll button it up and we'll uh, we'll run it and I'll check the charge for you. Okay. And the compressor's okay? Oh, it's starting. Yeah. So that's, that's a good sign.
Let's run it and check it, and then we'll uh, then I'll give you a diagnosis. Probably gonna be fine. I work on a lot of these Goodmans. They they run forever. A lot of guys will bag them, you know. It's no good. What do they have a lot of uh, paper in this thing? Oil. Oil and what else? Oil and wires. They must have, have it's got like aluminum, like aluminum shit in there too. Okay. Is there dielectric in there? I'm what? not sure. I'm no rocket scientist, you know. No, neither am I. Symbols in Mexico. There you go. That's yeah. why it died. Yeah, well, they don't last forever. They don't last forever. This salt water here doesn't help. Hand me up the testos. Yeah. And then we'll run it. Wait. You got it? Yeah. All right. Where do you check the uh, Freon? Here or inside? Here. I'm going to check it here. Yeah, a lot of guys bash the Goodman line, but I don't know. They run, they run pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, these are Goodman. Yeah, they're all right, you know. Yeah. Some guys will bash them. Well, they're all about the same, aren't they? Pretty much. Yeah. Same technology. Compressor, it's a compressor fan and a coil. I've had this technology since the 60s. I remember as a kid, one of my neighbors had a central heat pump system. So you did change the filter inside, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this isn't a heat pump. This is uh, this is an air conditioner. Yeah. Heat pump's different. It's uh, like a refrigerator. Same principle, right? Well, no. It's got a reversing valve in it. Oh. So a heat pump got the reversing valve to take the heat from the outside and move it inside. For the winter. For the winter. That's what the difference is. Um, an air conditioner strictly just gets rid of the heat from the house and dumps it outside. Yeah. It doesn't have the reversing valve. Yeah. So has this thing been working last year? Was it was it an issue or? No, it just uh, it was working earlier this year. Just yesterday was the first day we didn't get any cool air. Well, that's because the capacitor let, let loose. Yeah. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll check it. We'll run it. We'll be all right. It should be fine. Now, do you do regular maintenance on these things? Yeah, I do. All right, go turn it on inside. Okay. I'll, I'll drop it fairly. I'll yeah, drop it, you know. Five ten degrees or whatever. Old twenty two unit, I'm pretty sure. So, all right, he's gonna go run it. We'll see what's going on with it. I got my testos because my uh, tablet's charging. Twenty two. Just gonna start it up and we'll check it. Let me get some of my stuff out of here. I'm way up on this flipping ledge here. 
thing I'm not scared of heights. Teddy changed the filter inside, so... Gotta let it run for a little bit, stabilize. What the shakes, Mom? The coils, it's pretty clean, so... Well, it's way up here, there's no, no leaves that can get on it, because it's got this giant overhang on there. Shakes, y'all. Well, let me just wait and see. I gotta run it for a bit. Let it stabilize. You gotta let it stabilize. Superheat should be about 20, and it's 36, so I gotta add a little bit of Freon. Okay. I've been letting it run for a while, and she came down. We're gonna leave it right where it is. I didn't even add no gas to it. That's fine. But if you want, Shut this one off, right? Yeah. And then turn the other one on and I'll check the other charge. This one's okay. Shut this one off, you know, and oh, then... I'll shut the power off on this. No, you don't have to shut the power off. Just, um, just put the thermostat off. Okay. And then turn this other one on, okay? Turn. Then turn this one on, I'll check the charge. Okay. You want me to check the charge on this other one? Yeah. All right, shut the other one off. Give it a couple of minutes, because I have to move my stuff over, like three, four minutes, and then turn this one on. All right, shut, shut the big one off. Shut the big one off at the thermostat. Give it three minutes, and then turn the other one on. All right, so we're going to shut it off. I'm going to pull my stuff off a bit. We're going to check this other one. I do have some 22 here if I need it, but I thought I was going to need it, but it, it's, it's okay. It's a good man. She's still running, Mama. She's still running. Next level. stuff over move my stuff over to this side I don't have much room here so see what I can do if I get these caps off of here and the hoses are on this side we'll run it and we'll check it Turd, they call these. Gotta be careful up here on the on the deck. I don't want to fall off. That's a thirty-six. So that one's running and no leaks. It's not a leaker. A little 24 it's a little two ton All right, he's gonna start this one up should be starting up in a minute here yeah. we'll 
Check it on the chart on it. Check the charge on it. Make sure that's okay. He says he changed the filters inside, so. Yeah, I just gotta let it run for a little bit. We'll see if it stabilizes. Yeah, so I'd leave these systems alone as long as they're still running. Let them, let them go. Yeah, I'll let them go. You know, what I would do, this is what I would do. Let them go. When they start having problems, then we, you know, you could replace them and replace this metal deck at the same time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it now. If you want to paint it, paint the bottom. Yeah. Paint the bottom and the inside if I can. Yeah, just get some rust-oleum and give it give it a good douche. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, give it a little time. See what yeah, happens. Time. You gotta let it run. You gotta let it run for like 10, 15 minutes to stabilize. Okay. Would you mind moving your truck to the light? Alright. Yeah, so if you paint that, give it a good rust-oleum treatment, yeah. that's probably what I would do. And then uh, let it... Uh, I'd let them go. As long as they're okay, go. we're going to check the other one, but, you and know. we drop them, get new ones in. Yeah, put it, uh, you know, when, when and if you need new systems. I wouldn't change you know this what now. Should do, what? I should go ahead and get this pre You can store it. You know what? Uh, stainless steel one? Go ahead. I can measure off these. There's a shop over here. Yeah, you could have it make one out of stainless. Yeah. Alright, we're good. My superheat's fine. We're alright with it. Now there's, there's uh, two Goodmans and both of them aren't leaking. So, you know, a lot of guys will bash these Goodmans, yeah. but there's nothing wrong. These things are working fine. You know? 13 years old. So, the, both of them, they're not leaking, so. Here we go, they're both running. Yep. Alright guys, you just left that job. You know, a lot of guys were bad, Goodman. But there's two systems right there that are, that are running, still running, and they're not leaking, so. Go figure. You're gonna take all this criticism about Goodman with a grain of salt sometimes. That would be good advice.